Isela Bellas and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my hair is looking wild and I absolutely love it. It only looks this good from the front. The back is another story. I also have this unwanted guest on my face, which is really frustrating. But anyway, today is our Friendsmas lunch day thing and we're hosting it at our house. We are not the hosts, we are just the venue. But I wanted to take you guys along on the little cooking journey. Since it's like a bring and share type of situation, I decided that I'm going to be making gammon for the first time. I'm not really nervous, I just feel like it's a lot of work. But anyway, I'm going to be making gammon. I also want to make Brussels sprouts with bacon bits. And then I saw a TikTok video for potatoes in an air fryer, which by the way, I now have. Um, my in-laws bought us an air fryer for Christmas, so I've been using that quite a bit. But we've only been making like chicken nuggets in there, nothing else. But I'm gonna try it out today with the potatoes. I'm excited to do blah, blah, blah. so I'm excited to do that. We also have load shedding at the moment. It will be back on in about an hour. But I'm gonna start so long by steaming the gammon. I bought one from Woolworths, and I'm just gonna go according to whatever instructions are on the back of the pack of gammon. Have my phone light over here so you can see what's happening. But I put the gammon in with water to cover it. I've got pepper, cloves, onions, some carrots and I do not have bay leaves but it's fine. And that's how the recipe on the back of the gammon pack said to do it. It needs to be here for 30 minutes per 500 grams. So this needs to be in here for two and a half hours. And I'm happy that I started it early. It's now 11.16 and people are coming here at 2. To get some help to ask all my aunties <laughs> if this brown part is supposed to be on it and I think it is supposed to be on it because it is um, the smoked part and I think I may have scored it a bit too deep inside because Trivino's auntie told me to cut it into like diagonals and then put a clove of garlic in each but now mine is so deep so I don't know I can tell you one thing that I'm definitely not eating today that's this gammon Maybe I'll taste it, I don't know. So I decided to only steam it for an hour and then I'm gonna roast it for the balance of the time. And then I'll put the glaze on it at the, uh, no, I have to put the glaze on it now. Okay, this is the glaze that I bought from Woolies and then I also just put some of this fruit chutney from Checkers in the bowl. And that's what I'm gonna use. It's so thick. That's what I'm gonna use to glaze the gammon and i'll keep glazing it like this is not looking too appealing to me i'm gonna keep glazing it like uh, maybe every half an hour or every hour or something like that maybe every half an hour since it's got one and a half more hours to cook and the electricity should be coming back on three hour, three minutes late great 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 The electricity is still not back on and I have my gammon waiting to go into the oven. So I I hope that it comes on very soon. I don't know if I told you guys everything that I'm making today. <sighs> I'm out of breath. So other than the gammon, I'm also making Brussels sprouts with bacon and pecan nuts. I think I did say this. I don't know. Anyway, and I am going to try 
but definitely did tell you guys air fryer potatoes and then the thing that i didn't tell you was i am gonna make a, a mocktail coquito so basically it's coquito without the rum i'm really so hot oh my gosh but anyway let's start uh, cracking these pecan nuts i'm sure there's an easier way and better way to do it if you don't have a nut cracker but i'm just gonna do it how i want to do it okay Some lemonade and pecan nuts. <laughs> I decided to break up the bigger ones because they were more broken pieces than whole pieces. So I just decided that we're gonna go with this rustic look. And Trevino is on his way with the rest of the things. We still don't have electricity, which is a bit frustrating because I need to use the air fryer and the oven. So I don't know. Looks like we're only gonna have Brussels sprouts ready. Here are my ingredients for the mocktail version of a coquito. I'm going to open everything and put them into this and then when the electricity comes on I will blend it. I think I'll have to use the other smaller one also. But when the electricity comes on I'm going to blend everything, add some nutmeg and cinnamon and then we'll be good to go. My bacon bits are frying, I want them nice and crispy, chopped and washed Brussels sprouts and I've got my nuts ready to go. This is what we're looking for. Nice browning on all the Brussels sprouts. We are being um, attacked by flies. But anyway, in here, very bad segue. I have butter and pepper and garlic powder. I'm going to let this melt. Then I'm going to show you how I do the potatoes. Okay. My McDonald's. Air fryer basket. And I'm going to pour this melted butter in there. Then put the cheese and then do the potatoes. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm definitely going to have to do another round because of the amount of potatoes. And it is 200 degrees for 30 minutes. And let's see how this works out. We come before you in the Mansi name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this food. We thank you for fellowship. Pass it to place this food may nourish our bodies. Father, we thank you also for the paper plates. <laughs> Jesus. We praise for all that you are accomplishing in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.